said, let me open again. Maybe, maybe God's testing me, you know? I open again. Oh my God. I see that 35 again. Hi, beautiful people. Welcome back to Authentically Real with your girl, Nomad Tansa Mpundisi, aka Norms. And welcome to the new subscribers. Hi. Anyway, as you guys saw in the title today, I will be sharing my failures within my university journey. Okay, guys. And the purpose of me sharing this is to basically motivate someone to scare somebody, to, to comfort somebody. I will be sharing how I coped, um, what I did, what I went through. Okay, so let's get into it. So it was the year 2019. I had just finished my undergrad. I had a couple of subs. Going into my 2019 postgrad uh, two-year course, I was already extremely exhausted. I was already mentally tired, but I was really excited and really blessed because I was still given the opportunity to get into the course, get into the postgrad course and finish off my studies. So fast forward to test one there. I felt like I had this. I felt like I could do it. And I'm not going to lie, guys, when my marks came from the first test, I was extremely shocked because my marks were disgusting, guys. Like, even like 40 failing where you still feel like you have hope, but I was 30 failing. But I was still positive because I'm like, it's still going to be another oh year. We have a lot of time. Anyway, um, throughout the year or throughout as the months went by, uh, I was still doing extremely bad. I even got to a point where I think by may i decided to leave my part-time job because i was like i'm failing like maybe it's because i'm still working i quit everything under the sun i quit even writing on my blog i quit everything guys because i was like i'm failing badly and i'm like putting in the work and nothing is changing guys i even got to a stage where i would go consult and if you know me, like I don't consult. I've never consulted in my life. I improved by a bit, but I feel like by the time I started consulting, it was a bit too late. I had a lot more time. And I think that also made me a lot more lazy. Anyway, guys, fast forward to um, the last test I had to do in order to qualify for exams, yeah, guys. So fast forward to that. And I knew for the one module, I was sitting in the late 30s uh yo i was sitting in the late 30s guys and i knew i had to get like a, a big percentage in order for me to qualify for the exam so it, the night before yo, the night before i was a mess guys i was vomiting i was having panic attacks i was just so stressed like i was so stressed i decided to like cross night nah. and guys i've never cross nighted in my life for me if, if i don't know by 10 o'clock i don't know and it's bedtime that's just how i always you know doubt with things but i was like uh -uh, i can't go with that mentality i need to know this is my last chance and your girl went to go write her taste not having sleep oh not even God. having drank red bull or whatever concoctions you guys drink whenever you study to cross that i don't know what y'all drink anyway let's fast forward to the day that all my results come out yeah? so on the day that all my results came out uh i had gotten a call from my um the company where I was signed to do articles. So they called me at one o'clock. I answer the phone. They call me, I answer the phone and I'm like, hey. And they were like, we have great news for you. You've got an anniversary for your CTA year, which was my final postgrad year. You got a bursary for your CTA year, um, just on condition that you pass your BCTA year. So I was like, this surely has to be god guys like i was certain i was like this has to be god i was like there's no way i haven't passed because how do you get a goal the day you're getting all your results and you will know if you qualify for exams how do you get a call such such an amazing call to be like dude you're gonna get funded for your your final postgrad year anyway i was excited i was like yep anyway i go up to my room it's four o'clock i'm excited i'm just like there's no way i'm gonna fail and then they send like the mark sheet with our final test mark. I am panicking. I'm scared, but I'm excited because I'm like, you know, I just got a call and I was like, surely God wouldn't set me up like that, you know? 
anyway, like I said, I, I opened my mark sheet and yo guys. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, I opened my mark sheets. I see that I think I had I guys it was in the thirties. It was in the thirties, oh man. God. Like um I'm not gonna even front. I don't know what it was. I think it was thirty five. It was in the thirties, probably thirty five. I literally look at it and I'm like, mm -mm, this is probably not my student number. So I go, za, 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 close. I, I decide, let me open again. Maybe, maybe God's testing me, you know? I open again. <sighs> oh I see God. that 35 again. Yo, guys, I lost it. Like, I literally just started crying. If you don't want to play that way, break. And I was like, what? And then I decide, let me take a calculator and calculate my it like my exam entrance mark or whatever. And at first, I think I calculated it wrong, so I calculated it as like a thirty nine point eight. You lie! You lie! I don't know. I was, I don't know. Guys. Something was happening with me, and I was like, okay, yes, I passed. Like I made it. But then I'm like, the way I calculated doesn't even make sense. So I go and recalculate it again. And then I realized that actually, no, I did not qualify at all. Like I didn't qualify guys. Like, hey guys, I literally sat in bed. I cried. I think I cried for like two days straight. <laughs> I cried, not even two days straight, more than two days, but I'm just saying, shutting the world out. And I cried, I cried. I was like, this can't be it. Now it's an extra year. And you know, when you're just like, oh, and then I'm like, how do I tell my, my how do I tell the, the, the company? How do I tell them about the, what happens with articles? Do I use the article, training article, whatever we call it? I was just like, I was stressed guys. And I was like, whoa, how do I tell my parents? Like. How do I say to them that I just failed a module and it's an extra year? I'm gonna redo this course again. You know, I was like, how do I tell them? Yo, guys, I was hurt. I was crying. I literally thought it was like done for me. Like my life was over. I literally sat there and I was like, my life is over. It is over. But then um, I spoke to my parents. You know, I spoke to them. I was crying. I actually spoke to my mom and I was crying on the phone. For me, I thought my world was ending. From there, I literally went to go beg the lecturers. Like, I was literally at their feet, begging them. I was begging them. I was praying. I was fasting. I thought, like, if I begged them, that they would eventually, like, give in and just be like, okay, girl, go write the exam. And then I also had a friend who was in the exact same situation. Um, but with her, you know, God. God. With her, she ended up going to go write the exam, but it was for a different module. So different module, different lectures, but you know, by by grace, by God's grace, she ended up going to write. I was pissed off with God, guys. I was pissed off. I was like, damn, like he's doing, and it wasn't even about her. Like I was happy for her, but obviously, guys, you're also thinking, why, why can't I also get that chance? Why can't they also give me entrance into the exam. Like, yo, guys, I was begging. I was begging. Um, anyway, um, I decided to get out of my room because I still had exams and I still had to write those exams in order to redo the course again. I decided to go study, like, downstairs in my study place. And, you know, when I got there, there was a... <laughs> It was another girl. She was like really, or she is really, really. She was really good. Like we were doing the same post grad, a uh, two year course. And I remember the one day, guys. Like I was so embarrassed, Ugh, dude. No one tells you about the the embarrassment of failure. I was so embarrassed. And she asked me, she's like, "Girl, why aren't you studying for this module? Because we're writing." Yeah, guys. I lied. I literally said to her, "I was like, no, um." Uh, um, I deferred my exam like I literally lied straight out to her but I think I felt like I had to explain to everyone like I felt like because I was so embarrassed I just felt like I had to like tell everyone but I ended up pushing myself like I said stayed out of my room studied with her studied with a couple of other girls in my race didn't tell them what was going on 
but I think being in that space really really was comforting for me you know and I think that's what I want to like really talk to you guys about like honestly speaking failure is a part of the game like in life in life some of us go through it during our academics some of us go through it uh, work-wise some of us you know it's part of the journey guys so I'm gonna give you guys a few pointers on what I did number one do not beat yourself up over failure it happens it's a norm number two it's okay to mourn it's okay to sit there and mourn and be like i lost a year like it's okay to go to feel the emotions if i can say but don't stay in that for too long number three surround yourself with people that will motivate you surround yourself with people that will you don't have to tell them what's going on number four god isn't a genie i think for me i thought if i prayed about it if i fasted um that god would grant if i can say my wish for me god isn't a genie and trusting him doesn't mean that he will do what you want him to do ne? trusting him is trusting that he will do what's best for you at the end of the day even if that means failing number five look at what lesson you can learn like what can you learn like cool yes you're studying the way you study the maybe you not consulting enough but look beyond that sometimes your friends will move ahead guys and that's okay that's okay take it as an as an advantage that okay she's moving ahead she can actually i actually have a friend that's gone that's done this course that's that knows my struggles anyway guys that's the end of my video please like comment subscribe um if this was of interest to you um please like or please comment and let's be authentically real thank you